Hey, your boy Nopal here. So it's been confirmed that um, Triple G has um, let go of his longtime trainer, um, Abel Sanchez. And, you know, at first when I heard the news, you know, I, I overheard this news over a podcast and immediately my first thoughts were, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has to do something with money. Now, one thing I noticed about Triple G is, you know, you know, and I this caught my attention last time when uh, the fight was canceled with versus Canelo, is that they only paid uh, Vanez Martirosian two hundred and fifty thousand, and now that was a fight where Tom Loeffler, of course, was bragging about, you know, selling out the little arena where they were at and breaking records and stuff like that. So, and you know, my initial thoughts is, I don't care how small the venue is, I don't care what the situation is. I mean. For you to fight Triple G, you should be making minimum at least a million. But to um, but to turn around and just give a guy two hundred and fifty k when when at the same time you're gonna go back and try to negotiate a fifty fifty split against Canelo Alvarez, and you only I mean you just paid your other opponent two hundred and fifty k just to fight you. I mean that ain't shit. So I mean that that brought my attention to the fact that. Triple G is a really, really unfair guy when it comes to negotiations. You know, he doesn't, uh, I mean, I bet you probably Rolls is probably only getting paid like 200K at the most. You know, you know, he's a, uh, he's a basically, he's a, uh, low ball kind of person. I don't think, you know what I mean? He, he's actually become a pretty big diva in my opinion, you know, you know, keep in mind that he doesn't do interviews anymore in English. You know, he just answers everything in his native tongue, which is okay. But, I mean, that just gives him more cover-up for him to not answer questions directly. You know, you ask him specific questions and he answers them specifically in a whole different other direction. Now, as far as um getting rid of Abel Sanchez, I mean, that was basically his personal uh, opinion. I, I, I kind of understand it and, you know, I'm not there so I can't decide. But, um... Abel Sanchez, I don't think he ever showed him what he needed to, to, to learn, you know what I mean, to, to advance as a professional boxer. I mean, it was just all about going in there and knocking out your opponent and, you know, never challenging yourself with other guys. And, you know, going back to the money situation, they always said how Triple G never wanted, uh, he never wanted to, um, like how nobody ever wanted to fight him. They're always ducking him well. I think a, a a big thing that had to do with that is, you know, you got a dangerous guy like Triple G. The least they can do is offer you enough money because you're going to get knocked the hell out. I mean, they should be... the. It's a big risk to fight against a guy like Triple G, yet they weren't paying their opponents. You know what I mean? It, they weren't making it worth their while, you know? So basically that was always, you know, one thing. So it wasn't really that people were ducking him. It was just the fact that um, that there was no reason to fight a guy like that. First of all, he's going to try to lowball you. He doesn't bring enough fans in to get you guys both paid. So why even fight a guy like that, you know? That was a big reason. And then, you know, they these guys are, you know, Triple G and his team, these guys are stiff negotiators, man. They, they want to squeeze every penny out of everything, you know, and, you know, and they're, they're, they, they feel entitled to, you know, other stuff that, you know, they never, they never, um, earned, you know what I mean? And I don't really want to get into that, that, um, topic, but, um, just wanted to sh share my thoughts on that. And, you know, you know, as far as Abel Sanchez is concerned, I mean, he's got other fighters, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, and you know, the news that's coming out is, uh, Abel's claiming that, uh, he, he claims that, uh, that um that they wanted to pay him a fifth of what a fifth of what he was earning before and then he's talking about that you know uh, uh, I guess he's talking about a fifth of the 100 million dollar deal that Triple G scored with the Zone for six fights which is probably going to be a lot of money but he he said that they wanted to give him a fifth of what he previously earned you know as far as that i mean that's kind of understandable i don't want you guys to just think that i'm shitting on triple g 
that's understandable that you're going to drop the percentage down a little bit, but I don't know if it, I don't, first of all, I don't know if he was getting paid the standard 10% that a trainer gets, but, um, you know what I mean? That's understandable. If you're going to score a, a deal like that, you're not just going to turn around and tell Abel, here's your 10% cut. You're going to tell Abel, listen, you know, we got to renegotiate this because, you know, um, this is a lot more money. So, you know what I mean? You, you know, you're going to have to get a little smaller percentage, you know, but no, he, he, he actually said that, um, that he gave him a take it or leave it deal that he gave Abel that. And then, you know, basically I think triple G's, uh, sore because, um, because you know, what happened is, uh, Abel Sanchez, he was, uh, disappointed in triple G's performance. You know, triple G didn't, didn't, uh, perform the way Abel wanted him to. And, uh, you know, Abel Sanchez didn't want to, when they asked him what happened to triple G, what happened to big Mexican style, what happened to, um, to, uh, body shots and all that. I mean, Abel Sanchez had no answer. Canelo's performance shut his mouth basically. So, you know, I just wanted to report on that and, you know, I'll try to, I'll try to upload a, a image on my, as a, as a, um, thumbnail so you guys can check it out. All right. No, Pal Castellanos.